In this video, I want to share with you a really good little, it's kind of a cover two, cover three beater. It's also a really good man beater out of the gun bunch formation in Madden 22. Um, it's just one of my preferred ways to play right now, um, just in terms of being able to consistently beat man to man. I think that we're going to continue to see the man coverage meta uh, just kind of rise over the course of the next coming weeks. Uh, just because I think man is very good and you do need to have a specific plan for how you're going to attack it. So this is a great little man beating concept out of the gun budge formation. Like I said, it also beats cover two and sometimes it can also beat cover three as well. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, I would want to ask you to go ahead and to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel here and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. A lot of the meta for Gun Bunch has shifted to Cincinnati. We're gonna be talking today about the play Smash Return out of the Gun Bunch in the Cincinnati playbook, but you can find this play in other playbooks. Now I have a full Gun Bunch ebook if you wanna get access to that. Uh, I'm gonna put a link to the, the Patreon membership in the description below, and you can get access to the Patreon membership for just $10 a month. And it not only is it gonna get you access to our Gun Bunch ebook, which we've updated several times throughout the season to keep it relevant, but it's also going to get you access to every uh, other of our 20 Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides, as well as any updates to those guides, which we release updates every week in the Patreon. And then also you're going to get access, instant access to new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. So for just $10 a month, you basically get everything over there. I think it's a great way to get better at the game and uh, we just have a lot of stuff in there that will help you kind of understand some of the big picture of everything, how everything works, the nuts and bolts of an offense and defense, and how to build your own offenses and defenses if you so choose to do that. But today we're gonna to talk about some man, uh, a nice little man beater out of this in Smash Return. Now this man, we're gonna kind of craft this play so that we have a lot of routes that are gonna be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we, we do need an outside apprentice. So if you're in regs, I recommend using the uh, Packers. If you're in Mutt, you should have Hot Rod Master by now. Um, so you should be able to be just, you know, you be able to put this out there. You don't necessarily technically have to have outside apprentice, but it does make this into a bomb against cover two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Devontae Adams on a skinny post. We're gonna smart route that skinny post. And then here's uh, the rest of the concept. We're gonna slant. Marquez Valdez Scantling, and then we're gonna take the running back and put him on an out route. That's basically it. And then what I like to do off of this, and we'll first show it against cover two, um, is I like to motion Lazard uh, just a couple steps to the right, just like this. And then you'll see here that if you get a cover two, whoops, I got crazy shedded by Aaron Donald. Um, I'm gonna have to just spy him. But if you get a cover two, what you'll see here is there's our setup again what you'll see is a skinny post should split the cover two right up the seam and you have a one play score against cover two now we know that you know cover two is probably one of the worst coverages in terms of the deep version um, it's just not a great shell to sit in if you're trying to defend skinny posts right um, you're going to get a lot of split splitting of that skinny post now the beauty of this is it's not just a good bomb against cover two, it can also be a pretty decent little cover three beater. So I'm actually gonna go to Mike Blitz three and set up a Mabel concept here. And so you see here's a kind of a cover three Mabel. And our setup here, we're gonna put Jones on an out route, our play arts glitched, but you see he is on the out route, most of that guy to the right. Now what you'll see with this is once he passes the face of this guy right, didn't quite give me a great animation there. Let me show that one more time. But what will happen is if Devontae can get across the face of this, actually I'm sorry, we need to be on the other hash, my bad. For this play you do want to be on the short side, sorry about that. Uh, you do want to be on the short side. But basically what will happen here is Devontae will get across the face of that third. And once he gets across the face of the third, he should be wide open or a pass lead to the right. So you can see here, right there. See how he gets across his face and then you can throw it into that little pocket. You don't even need a deep streak. So I think that's really good. It's a great cover. Um, it's a great cover two, cover three beater as well. Now it's also a really, really good man beater. So if they're gonna run man to man on you, 
almost every route on this is going to win depending on the coverage that they're going to choose. Now, most people are going to choose this little double purple uh, coverage out of 335 wide. Typically, I think it's actually the better coverage, one of the best coverages. But if they do that, um, your first read is obviously you're going to be your running back route. So you can take this route, turn it upfield for an easy three to four yards. Okay, If you need something simple, that's something simple. And if they don't put a purple over there, or let's say they man this guy up and they put this guy in the purple zone, which is very likely. So let's say they do something like that, and then they have this guy, of course, in the middle of the field. What you'll get with this coverage right here is the running back typically will get a little bit better separation, and you can turn it up for about five to seven yards. And that's just a way that you can just kind of keep the chains moving, keep everything, keep everything honest from a defensive perspective. Now let's say they go to cover one, uh, cover one robber, and they purple the bunch side, but they don't purple the, the other. The, they, they purple the bunch side, but they leave that three wreck in the middle of the field. That's where you can really cook them with this running back route. You'll see here he's completely isolated over here. This is an easy 20 to 15, you know, 15 to 20 yards. So they have to have some kind of purple or flat on the running back side, which typically they honestly will. Uh, so you'll probably see something like, you know, this right here. To me is a pretty decent way to play it and then they have their purple on the right now the purple on the right i want to come back to that real quick so um, our next read if our running back is covered the next read we want to make is to our slant i'll show you that real quick you see the slant even against a one step ahead ramsey did give a nice little acrobat swat there but most of the time even against one step ahead you should be able to hit this slant if their user bails to the post so in this situation i'll show you kind of what i'm looking at here but typically their user in this formation knows the skinny post is a problem and they know they have to bail back to the skinny post especially if you have a short out of lead over there or something so that's why your slant should get open here um, again ramsey's acro acrobatting but it should be a decent a decent route for for you but ramsey's kind of shutting it down but if they don't have one step ahead in their slot, then you should be fine. Or if you have a route tech in your slot, you should be fine, okay? So that's kind of the, gonna cause them to have to purple there to slow down the slant. Now they're over here, and they again have to come back to the middle of the field, and this is where we're gonna kind of break their back um, with this last, with this um, other read. So our next read off of that, off of the slant, so we're looking at the back, no, slant, no. Now we're looking at the tight end, no. And we come back, and this is the backbreaker route. That's the route right there that is ridiculously hard to guard in man-to-man. -man. And it's the route that's going to force them to have to make a decision. Are they going to um, try to cover in the middle of the field, or are they going to try to cover the deep post? That's basically the decision they have to make based off of where their zones are at on this on this coverage. So what you'll see here, again, is let's say that they come down to circle. So you see here, circle, when he cuts back, it's going to be wide open. Now your skinny post is running wide open over the top of the defense for a one-play touchdown against the coverage. So that's why this play is a really, really good man beater. It's also a really good zone beater. Um, one other little quick tip with this that you can do with, um, with your slant is if you're needing to get your slant a little bit more open, what you could consider doing is motioning him to the left. And then the only reason I'm saying that is because what that'll do is it'll make, depending on the coverage, it will make the it will make the the uh, slot corner move. Like you'll have to move to go guard it. And then if you motion him back, and you just as soon as he crosses the tight end, you're just jamming the the snap button. Sometimes he'll get a miss press, or you just get a little bit better separation. So as you can see right there. Uh, but if you have like a route tech on the uh, on the slot, and then a short out lead on the left side, and maybe like a deep out lead on your tight end, this is a really really good concept. Last thing I want to show: let's say they put the safety in the middle of the field vertically on the uh, skinny post. If they're not gonna have a zone over there to defend the tight end, a lot of times you can still throw this. So you'll see here when he cuts, you can throw like a little low ball, kind of get a deep out elite catch going. But typically that's gonna be just fine against man as well. And then if they blitz you out of man coverage, if they blitz you out of man, 
throw your running back route, or if they if that's not open, you can actually low ball that or like quick throw the tight end route as well against man to man. So if they're gonna send pressure, you have a couple quick reads, and then you know you can easily continue to move the ball up and down the field on them. It's really hard to use with a running back this year. Like if someone's like, I'm just gonna guard the running back, like to me that's a really hard lurk. And then if they run zone, you still have slant flat on the left. You still have um, your corner on the right. You have this nice little check down to the, the return route. So I mean, you have options. In this little route, you can throw in between zones a lot as well, kind of like a wheel. So this is a great little concept for beating man and zone out of Smash Return. If you want to learn more about the bunch offense, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. I'm going to put a link to do that in the description. So if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 a month. You get everything. You get all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. You get every update that we've done to the guide. We've updated the Patreon every single week um, for the last uh, since Madden has been out with new material. And we get, typically have released at least one ebook every month. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below that you can head on down to the description and click the link to go check it out.